Suppose it's me. I need to talk to you for a minute. Kirsty. Kirsty, open this door right now. Right now. What's going on? I just don't know what to do anymore. So what's going on? Kirsty's been seeing Kane. You, Dad, it's about me. My feelings for Kane have gone... What the hell would you know about feelings? I'm not a kid anymore, Dad. Yeah, taking up with this creep was meant to prove that. No, wasn't it wasn't meant to prove anything. Then why'd you do it? Because I love him. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. But all I know is that when I'm with him, I feel happy. Like, I feel like I'm worth something that I matter. I've never felt like that before. Look, Danny could be home at any minute. It's always about Danny, isn't it, Mum? You can't hear what I'm saying because all you think of is Danny. Dad, please. Kirsty, I think you should go to your room. Kirsty. You're fine. See, I can't pretend to understand how this situation with you and Cain has developed. But I'm fairly sure that you never intended to hurt us or Danny. But you know as well as I do that if Danny ever found out, she would be devastated. And I don't even want to think about what the consequences would be for the rest of the family, including you. Kirsty, I know you think your feelings for Cain are real, and I know that you want us to take how you feel about him seriously, but believe me, you are 15. You've got plenty of life and, and love ahead of you. You can risk losing Cain. I know you think you can't, but you can. But if you lose your family, it will stay with you forever. I'm not asking you to change your feelings for Cain overnight and I'm not suggesting that this is an easy decision for you but it is your decision you have to decide who's more important us or Cain Um, I just want to say that I'm really sorry that I've upset you. Ken, I, I think you should go. Just, just hear me out, please. I, I just want to see Kirsty. You are not welcome just, here. Just listen to me, please. Look, we don't want to hurt anyone. You know, and I don't know what you think about me, and I understand that. 
You know, this. I wish I could undo the damage I've done. Well, you can't. Look, I, just listen to me. It's real between me and Kirsty. You know, we, we care about you. You snap one foot in here and I'll have the police on you so quickly. Look, I don't want any trouble. I just want to see Kirsty. Get out of here! I can't live like that, alone, in there. Everything's gone wrong. It's just all a mess. The only one good thing is that I love you. Yeah, I feel the same way. Thank <laughs> you. 